Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Portland, Oregon at the Nike Hoop Summit with head coach of the world team, Roy Rana. Roy, uh, how's, uh, how's Portland treating you? Portland's always good to me. Uh, you know, it's uh, been beautiful weather all week, so you can't ask for much more. It's been a lot of fun. We've got a great group of kids and uh, another exciting game coming up on Saturday. So every year that you guys... We, we, we looked at this uh, today, um, so the U.S. started 10-2 and two the first 12 years, and um, you guys have won three out of the last four. So does that increase the pressure on you guys? Um, I know that the U.S. team, the stakes are kind of ra raised. It seems like they're taking this game really seriously, and they really want to win this game. Yeah, I mean... I think if the pressure is raised on us, that's a good thing, right? I mean, you want to have you want to have high expectations for your group every year you come in, and uh, you know, if we've got the best players outside of the U.S. internationally, we should be competitive. But the U.S. is, you know, they're really stacked this year. This is they're they're like you said, they're serious. They're bringing a, a pretty loaded roster, and uh, we've got our hands full. But you know, we're going to do our best. I think we've got a pretty nice unit. We're coming together, so hopefully, we can pull off another surprise. I, I, just following kind of the selection process, it seemed like this group, this team took a while to come together. There were guys that pulled out. There were guys that kind of got in the last minute. How do you feel about, you know, the, the, the final result? What did you guys have here? I mean, again, I'm not really that that involved with the whole selection piece, so I just get my team and I gotta I gotta make the you know make the best I can. And a lot of these kids I was not really familiar with. Even the Ukrainian kid who just came in last minute, he's fan phenomenal. So I mean, you know, just I mean, you're always getting great players regardless of who they are. So I'm, I'm very happy. I mean, I know you know some of the names that aren't here, especially Exum would have been spectacular, but. Uh, at the same time, we've got some pretty good players here, so you know our job is to try and get them ready for Saturday. So the strength of last year's group was probably at the guards with Exum and and Schroeder, um, and then you know Karasev also on the wing. Um, it seems like th this year um, the U.S. is really going to come after you guys. I mean, just having one real point guard in, in Moutier. How do you plan on on handling that? Well, I mean, you know what, a lot of it is just making sure that we're in the right spots when the pressure comes to be able to deal with it. Um, you know, we've got to be able to attack it. We can't be passive and try to, you know, we've got to attack them and, and put them on their heels a little bit. And I think the battle's going to really be in the front court. I mean, they've got some great front court players. I think we've got some great front court players. We've got a great point guard in Moutier. I mean, if we can keep them on the floor, um, I think we've got a chance. Huge change of contrast um, in comparing the the world bigs who are so skilled with with Lyles and and Towns and Jokic who can step out and make threes and the US bigs who are so big and physical inside with Alexander and Okafor um like I mean that, I think that is going to be the key to the game like you said how do you how are you going to guard Okafor and Alexander when they're, when they're on this on the court at the same time I think, I think, you know, there's not really one way you can guard them. We're going to have to change up our coverages a little bit. We're probably going to have to change the, the, the actual, you know, defender on them. They've got to mix it up. I mean, you just got to try and make them uncomfortable because you're never going to stop them. You're going to try to limit them and contain them and hopefully force them into making some mistakes. While you guys are doing some tactical stuff and a lot of scrimmaging, you also see um, skill work involved here, um, a lot of shooting, um, post moves, stuff like that. Is is that a focus of the week too, player development? I think there's player development in everything you do. I, I, you know, you just can't have a practice where you're just really going at it tactically for two hours or an hour and a half. Guys want to shoot. They want to get rhythm. You know, they want to work on their game, right? I mean, my job is to try and help them get better, not just in their understanding of how to play, but fundamentally as well. So I think that's, you know, part of any uh, youth basketball coach is that, you know, you have a commitment to maybe give them one or two things that might be able to help them moving forward. So we try to mix it up as much as we can and prepare them for a game on Saturday. Thanks so much, Roy. Best of luck.